everyone, Tanner Belt here, Sizzix Resident Designer. I'm so excited about this week's episode of our DIY Teen Craft. In today's episode, we're going to be making a really fun Instagram cube using Eileen Holmes dies, which are really easy to use, and I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Here's what we'll be making. We're going to take our pictures that you'll be needing and printing them out three by three and adhering them on with some decoupage. It's a really easy craft and I know you'll really enjoy it. So stay tuned and let's get started. The first thing you'll need is Eileen's box die, a mat board by Sizzix, Mod Podge and a foam brush, a hot glue gun, and six three by three Instagram pictures per cube. The first thing you want to do is to make a sandwich by taking a cutting plate, then your die, then your mat board, and then another cutting plate. This is how you'll get the best cut every single time. So you'll just want to run this through your big shot or big kick. I'm using a big kick today and it will come out. And what I love about this die is it pre scores everything for you. So you just have to fold it and the score lines are already there. One of my favorite things from Sizzix. And then I'm just going to run this through again. And since Eileen's line has um, the Cherished line, which is where this dies from, it has a lot of the baby theme. And you can also find on this same die, ABC on there, which is really cool. So as you can tell, you can see the A, B, and C, but I'm just not needing those today. So now what you'll want to do after you cut all of them out, I'm making three cubes. So I'll need, I believe, six of these cut out on the mat board. So I, I just want to fold these and have those ready. After that, you'll want to take your Mod Podge and take the foam brush and apply some Mod Podge onto your little die. And each one of your pictures needs to be three by three, so they go on each side of the box. I like to use the Mod Podge and put these down before I glue it together because it's easier to apply the adhesive, it's easier to uh, make sure that they're nice adhered down. So I'm taking all these pictures, I just cut my pictures out or printed them out using cardstock, nothing fancy, I used my home printer and I think they turned out fairly well. So Mod Podge, if you're not familiar, is a decoupage medium and it is a sealer coat and finish. So it's water based, it will work great. Um, I love using Mod Podge and this is something that you can use Mod Podge with your kids because I know tons of kid Mod Podgers. So after that I'm just going to apply the pictures on here and you can just see the technique I'm doing. You don't have to do this. I like to apply one or two at a time. That way I can use my hand and hold one side of it but here I'm just um, trying to put all three of them down. So it's really easy and you can just grab these right off Instagram. I'm just smearing that down and I'll do that the same thing for everyone. So after you have all the pictures down for each one of them you're ready to apply your hot glue. I found hot glue was the best thing to hold this down. I've tested um, different dry adhesives, different uh, wet adhesives and I found that hot glue was the best one to hold this. That it will not be going anywhere and it's really great. So we're just going to glue this down with some hot glue. You could use glue gun helpers, which I did for a lot of these. I just didn't have them when I was filming this clip. And I'm just going to get that string off. And as you can tell, I just want to make sure that it's lined up nicely and that when I push this in, it will still create the box and it will fit. So I had that little piece of glue. I'm actually using a washer just to get it off. And then I'm going to apply some more glue right. I had to push in my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to apply the last little piece. You could leave this piece open if you're going to use it for a gift and have like a little gift in there, a little note. Wow, this DIY is totally for the Instagram holic like I am, and I know a lot of people love Instagram. So if you're one of those people, I definitely want to see you make one of these because it's so fun to take pictures that you put normally only on the internet and bring them off the internet and put them into your real life. It's a really fun idea and I can't wait to see yours. If you like this idea, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Sizzix YouTube channel, and leave me a comment letting me know what you'd like to see here next and what you thought of this DIY. Thanks for watching guys and hope you have a great day. Bye!